All right, let's go ahead and get the pieces installed on the bottom of this bumper. So this is the black trim pieces. There's a total of one, two, and then the same thing on the other side, three. Uh, the, the middle part does wrap all the way down to here. So that's definitely gonna be the more time consuming piece. We'll go ahead and start out with this, do the middle, and then we'll skip the other side because it's gonna be a duplicate of this. Um, just so that you guys know, like a good idea is to order in some black PPF. We just happen to be out at the moment, but we have more on the way. But we don't normally run out of PPF either. <laughs> but sometimes those colored ones like that, we will not always keep in stock. Um, but black PPF is great in areas like this because this, this area, if something like, let's say you install something and it happened to peel up a little bit on an edge, if it's black, you're really not gonna see it. If it's clear, you're going to see, obviously through the material all to the dirt and everything that's stuck to the back of it. Now, I'm not saying that's a reason to use it. I'm just saying that there's other reasons that are like go around with that. So another reason to use that is like on this part here, it is a little bit beat up already. Obviously was never covered originally when this bumper had paint protection on it before the repaint. Um, these pieces then are nicked up a bit. So what you're gonna have when you stretch paint protection film over those is everywhere that there's a nick in the paint, you're gonna get a little silver area where, or not in the paint, but in the plastic, you're gonna get a little silver area. If, this, if it's sticking out, it'll go silver area around it. And if it's a pit, that whole area will be silver underneath it. Now, if you put some black paint protection film over this, it's gonna look incredibly glossy because that black stuff looks fantastic and you're not gonna get any of that, those silver marks um, because you can't see through the material. So um, black PPF on this works great. All right, let's go ahead and get this installed. All right, we'll get this laid on here. And I am going to go ahead and start right here in this corner. So we're getting this edge lined up really well. We're getting this to lay down nice and flat. We're getting that top edge in there really good. So we're all nice and lined up. Squeegee that out. Let me get a little tack in there. We are going to need to do some stretching out this way, so we want this to stay tacked down. And I'm going to go ahead and get some tack under here, and we'll get this whole edge tacked down real good. Okay. Now, we'll go ahead and stretch this into place. And there's a little finger here, and then most of the excess is right here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is kind of keep an eye there. It looks like we've got about an eight, a quarter of an inch or so to stretch. So I'm gonna put a tiny stretch on this right here, and then squeegee this part down to get rid of the finger that was right there. And be careful if you come this way. I just came that way and I was like, oh, uh, you're not going to be able to pull this water through the area that's really tacked down already. And you're not going to want to because you can leave distortions in the adhesive. All right, so now that we're to right here, I'm going to go ahead and pull that into place. That's looking really good right there. And I'm going to hold that and squeegee all this out. Okay, and then we'll take the top out here. Like that. Great. A little bit popping up right there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit these edges with a little bit of tack. And then I'm gonna get myself some more tack solution after this. So we're not doing the middle part without you know, just having the drippings at the bottom of the bottle left. Okay, that looks really good. You know, and the nice thing about putting paint protection or the black over the top of this 
especially after this one's been beat up a little bit. Um, you know, this is, you can see the difference here, hopefully in the camera where this looks really shiny and then this is really dull. And so it really brings the shine back. And if you use the black, it's even gonna look better. Okay, great. Now, if you can see that dot right there, see how it's got some silver around it? Hopefully you can see that. And that's the kind of thing that you're gonna have where there's been some damage to the plastic already. There's another one there and there. I mean, so anyway, that's just kind of what that's gonna look like as it dries. Those will just get a silver circle around those dots. All right, let's move on to the middle. All right, so what I wanna do with this one is I'm gonna go ahead and start right here. And then we're gonna get this all laid down really nicely across the top all the way. And then we'll deal with this bottom part. Cause we can see here, we're gonna definitely have some stretching to do. And it's much more important that this top part looks great. And then the bottom underneath there, nobody's really gonna be able to see and it's more functional than um, appearance but this is gonna be you know, right out in the open where people can see it. So this part, I wanna pay more attention to it than the bottom. Okay, so I'm just kinda of getting that lined up, squeegeeing it out, and then let's see what we can do here for all these fingers. All right, squeegeed over a little too far. Just a little tack in there. I'm gonna stretch that into place. I'm gonna put my finger underneath here so that I can pull uh, downward on the material and make sure it doesn't go in too far there. And we'll go ahead and squeegee that out. Okay, and then I would guess that there wouldn't be too much stretching coming across here, but we will see. Let's go ahead and head over to the other side. Or let's get this pushed down first, right to about there. Get that air out. Okay. All right. Go ahead and get this down first. So this is gonna be all misaligned to get this bottom part to line up correctly or this edge to line up correctly. Right there. Squeegee that out. I'll put a little tack in this part and we'll get this down. We'll get some slip in here and we'll get a little stretch on this in order to get that down. Okay, so right about there, hold that down with my finger and we're gonna squeegee this out. Okay, so we got it to lay down, now we just need to make it stay down. Little fingers here, just take them up. Okay, great. Basically, I just want everything down and just past this edge here. And we're gonna lift up and we can lift up right to this edge. But first we need to get the rest of this top down. So we'll pull this back a little bit, make sure there's no pre-tacking. And then we'll get this all lined up. Now it does look like we're left with some fingers. Um, but these will all be manageable. Maybe that was for my stretching on the sides, but I prefer to have that little bit of stretch on the sides to get that to lay down real well, because there was some good fingers in there. So um, I'm not sure, you know. If I was doing this car again, I might try something a little bit different, but I'm not pulling it back to correct this because I can push these fingers down. All right, and I'll show you how we do that. 
So I'm going to start with some tack solution in here. And then we're going to make sure that we're not too far up and that we're going to hang off the edge. So something like that looks really good. Okay, great. And then we'll go ahead and we're going to just squeegee down right along this edge. And that'll get the material nice and stuck down because we are using tack solution. And then we're going to push these all this material up and back. So on a finger like this, I'm going back and I'm coming off of the material real quick. That way I'm not stopping on the material. So I'm not going all the way up with the finger immediately. I'm just going part way up and I'm not stopping. I'm lifting off real quick. Okay, so we'll just do a little slide chomp there. Get these down. Now let's get these guys here. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. Let's bring in a little closer. Okay, so we're breaking those up. So I'm going up a little ways and then lifting right off. And then we can go all the way up once we get close enough. And then, you know, these fingers, I can just push all of these right out. Those other ones were just pretty big. All right, great. We do need to get some more tack in these, push them down again. All right, a little slide chomp there and then we'll dry this out, this edge up there. So just getting some extra pressure on the edge, make sure everything's staying stuck down. And now, some damage to it. Let's go ahead and take care of this bottom part underneath. All right, got a, my Harbor Freight Movers blanket there. I'm really gonna miss that blanket. Here's why. Oh, look at that. That's the controller for my lift. Oh yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Maybe this weekend I'll get that installed. We'll see. Looking forward to it though. Being able to just sit in a chair and work on areas like this, that's gonna be awesome. That is gonna be awesome. <laughs> no more laying on the ground like this. Oh. All right, let's go ahead and get some slip solution, in, slip solution in here. Get it pulled back up right to that line there. Great. And then we'll see. We're gonna start with slip and then we'll work our way to using some tack solution. So this area here, you can see there's some um, tension right here. So we're gonna need to pull back on that just a little bit. Let's see what that looks like when we do. So right about there. And then we're gonna squeegee this out. So I'm holding this down with my thumb right there. And I could even come further back like that. Allow me to squeegee that out and have it stay down. You gonna stay for me? Eh, looks like it wants to come up a little bit. <clears throat> yep, yep, oh, and then I got it with this. Oh man, bummer. All right, let's try that again, huh? Just gonna throw some tack in there. All right, and then we'll give it a little bit of tension. Make sure it's lining up real good here in the back. And then squeegee that out. Okay, we'll come across the front here. We'll basically just get all around this one and then we'll tack it into place. So I'm gonna put a little tack solution here. Give that a tiny tug to get rid of the extra material that was right there. And then squeegee that out. 
And then let's go ahead and get this all down. So we're just gonna get some tack up in there. And then on the bottom there, I'm gonna go ahead and squeegee this out and let this start to tack up here. So I just kind of check the bottom there on the back and make sure that I'm not hanging over. And then I'm gonna squeegee that part out. So the first time I'm going over it real gentle because it's not really, you know, it's not stuck down at first. And then we can get a little bit more aggressive and then I'm gonna let that sit and cure a little bit and then we'll work on this and then this will be stuck down really good when we come back to it and we'll be able to put more pressure on the material and not have it, not worry too much about it breaking loose on that bottom. All right, so this type of stuff, just do something like that. And then just take all this back. It's really, you know, make sure you're using your fingers to hold this stuff down after you go over it. Uh, that is a, you know, you see me do that. Uh, make sure you're doing that because that is a huge tip, really, honestly. <laughs> For installing paint protection film, that is a big deal because that is so helpful because you just need it to stick there for another couple seconds and then it's gonna stay down a lot of times. Whereas if you just went over it, which we'll do on another one of these here, it's just gonna keep popping up and popping up and popping up. So that extra couple seconds that you use to hold your, that you hold your finger there with it makes a huge difference and it'll really help speed up your install. And you know, in a situation like this, it's not just about speed either. The more that pops up, the more chances you have of leaving work marks in it because you keep pushing it down and pushing it down. It keeps popping up. You can get work marks all in these areas. And those are just distortions in the adhesive where you're gonna be able to see where it popped up, the material popped up to. Okay. Great. It is kind of hanging over a little bit on the back, but it's also hanging over right here a little bit on the back. So I'm not, there's nothing really we're gonna be able to do about that. Let me try that out and then we'll, we'll see what that looks like. Oh, actually, that's looking really good. I just, there was just some extra moisture in there. So just drying that out a little bit then and um, heat seal, we'll get the rest of that down. No problem and keep it down. Okay, that looks really good. Let's go ahead and move on to this next one here. All right, so again, let's get everything stuck down around this part. All right, that is a lot of extra material right here. Look at all that. I don't think I did any stretching over there. Let's see, let's see. Let's get this part down. I mean, I know I pulled down a little bit on this to get this part to lay down. Huh. All right, so I pulled that down and I'm just making sure that everything's off this contour here, the bend, and then we're pushing the rest of this down. All right, so this one seems like it's gonna go down just fine too and not have any excess material, but we are ending up with a lot of excess right here. We're gonna have to cut that. There's no way. Sometimes you can, you know, <laughs> I don't know, I guess you'd call it kind of shrink the material by just going like that and pushing it down. And sometimes it'll, you can get rid of some of that, but that's way too much. So we'll work, we'll deal with that in a moment. Let's get this one down here. fingers coming up back here okay great so first thing first we want to do the same thing we did on the other side which is get this bottom part down so it can start tacking up 
and then we'll come back to that. Oh, that's what it is. Actually, the moisture that I was looking at, the little foam there from the um, tack solution, is actually back in the recess between the bumper part and, well, this piece of plastic and this piece of plastic. It's just sitting in there. So it's not actually under the edge of the material, but it just kind of looks like it is. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and get all this down now. So now you see kind of how that just continues to, to pop up. Like if I was just to squeegee that down, it just continually wants to come back up. Well, it doesn't that much because it's got a lot of tack in there. <laughs> That's gonna make me a liar. But even that part, like if I had work down with my finger there, that would not have come back up for a, a second. Uh, it wouldn't have needed a second squeegee there. Well, there you go. I mean, see how that just keeps coming up and eventually you're gonna leave some air in there or it's going to leave some work marks in the adhesive. I mean, down here it won't be such a big deal, but if this was like, this was a headlight and this was the, the paint protection film or the painted surface around the headlight, you know, obviously if that keeps coming up, a headlight area, it's going to be very noticeable. Okay, and then we'll take this all the way down here. A little extra material there bunched up. Great. Okay, let's get this guy on. Okay, it's up a little high actually. It's hanging over that, this top edge too much. Let's go ahead and try this again. Get that little guy down right there. So the material is like leaving a little gap here and not on the other side. Not really gonna matter down here, but it's not quite aligned perfectly from left to right. Although it's not hanging over that same amount, so I'm not sure what's up with the pattern there. Okay, so that's lining up better on the back side, I guess, there. And hopefully that'll help the front here to, or this part to line, yep, it does, okay. All right, let's go ahead and get this up. All right, it's popping up right there. Let's see what we can do with that. back up okay okay so sometimes I have situations like this where it doesn't seem like the the tax solution is doing anything anymore and there is a situation that you can run into with paint protection film that I, I think they call it burning the adhesive with the tax solution with the alcohol and then that's gonna make it pretty much lose its tack and the answer to this thing then is to get some straight water and get it in there. And that normally will help it get its tack back. So let's do that. You could probably use warm water as well. This is just water that's been sitting in this bottle for who knows how long. I'm gonna flush that out. and then push this out. Oh, well, that's not doing it either. Okay, let's get a little bit more in there. Try this again. I'm gonna try holding it there a little bit more. Try 
try maybe falling it with the towel up. See what combination it wants. <laughs> All right, so doing it with the towel helped and that dried the edge out and then kept it from popping back up again. So things like that, you know, if you're if you're screwing around with the material in an area like that, that's really visible, especially in a black car, it's going to be noticeable that you did a lot of working there with the material. Chances are. Um, so the less of that you have to do, the better. And that's just a whole part of that. What I was saying with these areas is that if you can put them down with your finger and then hold and just have them stay there, chances are they're not going to come back up and then you don't have to worry about those work marks. All right, let's move on to the center one, see what we can do with it. So I'm just gonna go to where this relief cut is and I'm gonna cut this right off, right there. I'm gonna let that hang down for now. And I'm gonna get this to tack down and then we'll come back and, and bring that across. We'll trim off what excess needs to be trimmed off but we are going to need this top, this other, the rest of this stuck down before we can know how, how much to cut off. Okay. Great. Okay, squeegee this all out. Okay, it is going a little bit back in there. So let's see if we can get some of that moisture dried out. And then we should be able to get that to, we'll either trim that off later, because it is going back in there a ways. Just kind of a headache, but I bet you anything with a little bit of heat or letting that dry for just a little bit, that's going to stick right down. Because when I first go over it, it does, it does stay down, and then it comes back up. So I think we're going to be that's going to be able to that's going to be willing to stay stuck down once it gets a little bit of time to dry and then some heat on it. Okay, now we need to get on this other part here. So we'll go ahead and start lining it up from here over. Okay, then it looks like, and it's almost a quarter inch. The best thing for that really, I'm gonna go grab some scissors. Oh, I really can't wait to just stand under a car and do this. It's gonna be so nice. Beautiful. All right, so let's trim some off. Go ahead and finish wrapping this into place. We want to get this bottom stuck down again. And then we'll work our way up. This part is pretty much a headache, really. <laughs> it's a little bit of a pain in the butt. You know, these parts get really intricate. I mean, you know, it's just it's more, it's not that it's even hard at all. It's just more tedious than anything. It's like, no, nah, I don't want to stick there. No, nah, I don't want to do that. Oh, you know what? Let me go over another thing that's really important to know. You're installing paint protection film. When you start installing on areas like this where the plastic or the paint is a bit more beat up, so let's say you get a car in that's got 20,000 miles on it, you know, we do that from time to time and we've got, you know, we'll get like a nice car in and it's, you know, somebody's taking really good care of it, but they didn't put paint protection on it from, 
you know, when it was brand new or they just bought the car and it never had paint protection film on it and they don't want it to get any worse. Well, these, this plastic or the paint is going to be beat up. And so those edges, the material doesn't want to stick down as well. And actually that's probably more of the problem that we're having here than losing the um, tackiness of the uh, adhesive on these is that this material doesn't want to stay down to stick stay stuck down to a rough edge like it wants a nice glossy finish to stick to so when you start making a rough edge and then trying to get the film to lay down on that you know a little bit rough edge even though it's real it's micro right it's real small um it's going to just start lifting up because there's little tiny spaces where it's not actually sticking down because the edge is so rough so that is something that you'll notice. You'll spend a lot more time messing around with stuff like this on vehicles where they've got some rock chips and things where they've been, you know, already a little bit beat up by the um, road debris. Those installs tend to take a bit longer because of that. Okay. Just kind of holding this in place a little bit. And at this point, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and trim these areas out and then come straight across here because I'm not going to just sit here and fight with this. It's, uh, it just isn't, isn't worth it, worth it. I mean, that goes up there a ways anyway. So too far anyway, is what I'm saying. Uh, let's see. Not sure if I got enough pressure right in there because I was trying to cut it while it wasn't actually attached to the paint. Let's see, where is my cut here? There it is. Let's see if it went all the way through down here in the corner. Oh, yep. Okay, great. <laughs> it just really doesn't want to stick down here. Oh my goodness gracious. All right. Um, yeah, and that isn't so great right there with my cut. Just pretend like that didn't happen, okay? It's way down here. Nobody's gonna be looking at it. I know, I know. I could recut it and have it be straight, but then we'll have less coverage. I don't know. I don't wanna talk about it. <sighs> okay. That's sticking down better. Hey. Oh, this is a pain in the butt down here. I can't wait to not be laying on the ground again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's kind of still wanting to pop up here a little bit. And it's got to be because this plastic is kind of already pretty beat up. So we're gonna go ahead and just let that be like it is right there. It looks like that got it pretty good, um, but it will need to be heat sealed to make sure that it doesn't continue to pop back up again. Okay, so that is that. All right, terrific. Well, that's the process of installing paint protection film on this front bumper. I'm gonna go through and heat seal this bottom part and make sure everything is staying down and that's gonna be it. I'm gonna uh, just end the video here. I appreciate you taking a look, like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you on the next one.